welcome to another very exciting edition of the Maxine Teller Show. On this week's show, we are delighted to welcome Daniel Washington, an impassioned and dynamic champion of the environment. Daniel is the founder and CEO of the Big Blue and You Foundation, winner of the Roxy Follow Your Heart Tour competition and an advocate for the Green for All initiative. Plus, she is a recent graduate of the University of Miami. All this, and she's only 21 years old. It's time to find out more about the young leader in South Florida community. Let's welcome Daniel. Daniel, welcome to the Maxine Tullis Show. Hi, Maxine. How are you? Thank you for having me. Oh, <laughs> I am so happy to have you, girl. Mm, I love it. 21. <laughs> yes, well, actually, I'm 22. I just turned 22. So when? In December. In December? So well, it's very happy recent. birthday. Thank you. Happy Thank you. birthday, darling. <laughs> All right, talk to me about how did... What made you go into this career? Biology, ocean, ocean, what do you call it? Oceanography? Call it marine biology, oceanography, Mar whatever you'd like. Okay. Um, but basically, it's just a study of the ocean. And, and it's been a passion of mine since I was six years old. I really? was blessed with wonderful parents who were willing to take me to the beach and to explore right here in South Florida where I grew up, okay. uh, the natural environment that we have here, which is a treasure to the United States. And so from then, I was just so excited to be outside to be in the water mm. and I've just been a water baby since I was very little. <laughs> You're a water baby. <laughs> yes, officially and um, I've just loved it. So I decided that I wanted to be a marine biologist. As soon as I figured out what that career was, uh -huh. the career of studying the ocean and the life that lives in it, I was like, I'm set. This is what I want to do. So it's been a path ever since straight toward that direction and I'm just so grateful for all the people in my life who have supported me 100% and have right. helped me have these great opportunities. Well, let me ask you this now. As a little girl, quite tranquilized by this ocean. Mm. What kind of courses did you take in high school to prepare you? Did you do the special courses, physics, or any special programs? Well, I actually went to a really great magnet high school in uh, Hollywood, Florida. It's okay. called South Broward High. Okay. And they have a marine science magnet program within the public school, and it was fabulous. I mean, we did so many great things. They took mm -hmm. us on plenty of field trips. We had great classes, teachers that specialize in marine science, and it was all free. Oh. provided by the county wow. and so by the end of my high school career we actually had the opportunity to go to South Africa and study the great white sharks over there Get out. so that was Get a life-changing moment for me because mm -hmm. I was able to see you know these massive creatures that so many people fear but to see them up close uh -huh. and to understand them more and I just have such a deep respect for not only sharks but for all creatures in the ocean oh well let me ask you you scuba dive you deep sea dive yes I scuba dive certified in high school and it's the best thing that I've ever done because it gives me a chance to be in the place that I love the most. And you're not as afraid as of this great ocean and <laughs> some creature may come up? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, yeah. there's always that feeling in the back of your head where yeah. it's like, oh my gosh, I'm in the middle of the ocean oh, and there's nothing to protect me. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, there's a sense of awe because you're just in this place that is not our home, uh -huh. but yet it's here right on our planet. And yet we know more, so much more about our moon than we know about the o entire ocean. Yes. So that sense of mystery and, and experience and things like that just makes me want to be there more. Now, you mentioned that you want to start this um, kids TV show. Tell me more about it. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, after working with a lot of kids throughout my years in high school and in college mm -hmm. and trying to teach them about my passion about the ocean and trying to instill this information in them because it, I realized that a lot of kids just didn't know. I mean, I know kids that live 15 miles from the beach and have never Been seen the ocean. Never. Right here in Florida. Yeah. And so that really disturbed me, but it also inspired me at the same time because I know that this is such a precious resource that we have here. And it's up to us in the next generation to take care of it. Mm -hmm. So I figured, why not do a TV show? I mean, we're living in an age where the children are very much into the TV and the video games and, yes. and media and internet. Yes. So why not take advantage of that and use it as and a medium to spread good word? All right. So. Now, when you talk about in Florida, they're, in, they're near the ocean and not. Doesn't um, Florida have a rule that says every kid is swimming? That's a rule, but not yeah. everybody follows it. <laughs> yeah, but I thought maybe it's something that every kid in Florida should be able to swim. So they should know the ocean. But anyway, maybe you can help push that initiative. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I would love to. Yes, because um, now, you know, early in the program, you said to me, um, overfishing. And the overfishing sticking in my head. What is overfishing? Overfishing is basically just 
taking too many fish at one time, mm -hmm. taking them when they're too young, so they don't have a chance to replenish the stock. Okay. So, you know, we have so many people on this planet. It's growing every day, mm. but our resources are depleting very quickly. Okay. And it's just because we're not giving them a chance to rebuild and to eat, you know, the different fish stocks and okay. other resources that we depend on for life. Okay. We're just not giving an opportunity for them to replenish themselves. Okay. You were talking about tuna. The yes. tuna? Yes, well, a lot of scientists are saying right now, fishery scientists are saying by the year 2048, 90% of our fish stocks, our major ones like tuna, mm -hmm. will be gone because mm -hmm. we've not taken enough time for them to replenish. And that's not just here in South Florida. It reaches down to the Caribbean, and it also reaches globally. So it's, it, it's a global issue. Okay, all right. You mentioned Caribbean. Yes. What's your background? You know, <laughs> tell me a little bit about your heritage, quick, please. Well, I don't know if you noticed my little accent early on, but I am part <laughs> Jamaican. Yeah. My mom was born in Jamaica, and so I grew up here in Miami, but I'm always proud uh, to represent the Caribbean uh -huh. and um, other heritage that are in my bloodline. So I'm a world a mixture of everything in this planet. So I love That's it. what Jamaica is about, you yes. know, the mix up. <laughs> mix up people. Say so he's one of the mix up people. That's right. All right. <laughs> now, what are you currently working on? I'm currently working with a bunch of different organizations, one of mm -hmm. which is the Green for All Initiative, which okay. is based out in Oakland, California. And they are a very proactive group working directly with the U.S. government, trying to create green jobs, meaning jobs that will help improve the environment and mm -hmm. also provide jobs for people who are impoverished in impoverished areas right here in the United States. Mm -hmm. So that's jobs like creating solar panels, creating wind turbines, things that will help us be more dependent on clean energy rather than the oil dependency that we're on now. And that's a whole other complicated issue, but it's a very important one. You born the other day, it sounds like you were old soul, because you're not speaking like a 21 or 22 year old. Well, you know, I've had the privilege of being educated by some very smart people, and so I've I'm very privileged and I hope to spread as much information as I can. <laughs> I'm so impressed by this young lady. I'm just floored. However, what's next for Danielle? Lots of things are next. I mean, in the midst of de dealing with all these different organizations, I hope that in the near future I'll be able to make a very wide and powerful impact um, on the next generation coming up um, in a way that they will be more conscious mm -hmm. of what we have here on this planet and the resources that we have here in our environment, just so that they can really just embrace the world again and, and we can become reconnected with um, the place that God has given us and blessed us with. So that's my main hope, and so we'll see what happens. I mean, there's so many things in store, and I'm really excited for the future. Very good. Now tell me, if somebody wanted to donate to your foundation, how would they be able to do that? Definitely. Well, basically, you just go to www.thebigblueandyou.com, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to see a bunch of different information. We have contact information. We have a great PR marketing partner called Thinking Media, okay. and you can contact them at 305-772-772. Uh, Two 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 three or right. an email. Tell tell our audience that number again. That's okay. okay. It's three oh five. This is Thinking Media. Their phone number is three oh five seven seven two 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 three. Or you can email them at info at thinking. Now it's thinking with two Ks, T H I N K K I N G Media dot com. That's fantastic. You're such a fantastic guest. Thank you, Maxine. Smart thank you for having man. me. <laughs> thank you for being on the Maxine Teller it's Show. A pleasure. And I wish you all the success. I wish, wish you a lot of money. Mm. And that book, that's really interesting. That's very, very powerful. Thank you. And I've learned something from you today. Excellent. And that's what I hope. Yeah. And I hope our viewers have learned something today from Daniel about saving the environment, saving the ocean. The ocean is very, very important. Why don't you just tell our audience just how important the ocean is to our living and for our future, our future generation? Mm. Well, our Earth is... A ecosystem within itself and our oceans provide over 70 percent of our oxygen and also our food so it is essential that we take the steps necessary right now we're at a critical point in history where we have the opportunity to make a difference for our planet and our future of our children so I urge you to take a stand and to make a difference in your community and your world thank you Daniel well said thank you Maxine. thank you <laughs> and thank you for watching the Maxine Teller show Join us again next week, same time, right here on the Maxine Teller Show.